sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you and not in the best reporting on the Eagles. Before we get to the meat and potatoes, I just want y'all to do it, man. You know what you're supposed to do. Tap in big print champs in the building, man. Get your hurt season hats, 22 bird shirt, all of that good stuff coming down the pipe right now. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. So, TJ Edwards. TJ Edwards is gone to the Chicago Bears. I think it was a three-year, $19 million deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, 12 of that was guaranteed. Expect it. You know what I mean? Big Moose, what up? Let me say what up to the people. How, how dare me? Let me say what up to the people real quick. Big Moose, what up? Saying 8, what's going on with you, man? What's up with it, man? Sneaks, what up, what up, what up? Yes, sir. Derek Mack, what's good, bro? Hargrave, yeah, we're going to talk about Hargrave, too. Jay Scissorhands, what up? Dre the Don, what up? Time for the Georgia boys. You already know. Lit City, what up? My fellow, what up? This, this is brunch time with the boys. Yeah. Vote of Prince, what up? What up? What up? What up? We need a CJ deal ASAP. We definitely need that, man. That's 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 mandatory, the, the CJ deal. But I'm not I'm not as hurt that TJ Edwards is going. I'm not really hurt about that. Mario Car Cavell, y'all, what's up? I'm not really hurt. And TJ Edwards is gone because you got the Buckets Award winner just sitting waiting his turn in the Kobe Dean. His time is now. His time is now. As productive as Hargrave was, I feel like that Jordan Davis with more reps going into his second year, sprinkling some of that Milton Williams, who I think will have a big year, I think we're going to be fine. Because as good as um, Hargrave was and pass rushing from his position, wasn't that good of a run stopper. And that's what a defensive tackle is supposed to be, a run stuffer. <clears throat> a run stuffer. A guy that could plug in holes, make running backs have to think twice. Hargrave wasn't the best at that. But would I have liked to keep Hargrave? Absolutely. But Hargrave just got the bag, man. $20 million a year. $20 million a year. So you can't be mad at these guys going out here, getting the best deal for them. We ain't got that money to pay him. We ain't got that money to pay him. Going out there, getting that money, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's with one of our arch rivals, one of our ops, so we definitely going to see you, Hargrave. We going to see you. We still got the best offensive line in the league. You want to know why? Because Kelsey returned. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so we announced on this day that Kelsey's returning. TJ Edwards is leaving. In place of TJ Edwards, you know N'Kobe Dean going to get his burn. Hargrave is leaving. In place of Hargrave, we should see a heavy dose of Jordan Davis slash Milton Williams, and we probably draft somebody or bring in another vet. The sky ain't falling. The sky ain't falling. Milton Williams was wildly productive. Wildly productive. I would I would kick the tires on Linval Joseph again on another one year deal. Milton Williams was wildly productive. I feel like I feel like what I saw from Linval Joseph, he deserves a. I ain't mad at that at all. Find out. I heard he was on the block. It depends on what they want for him. CJ Dell will be big facts. Uh, we got Nicobe here about to get. I think Kobe about to have a great season. I think Nicobe about to have a breakout year. I think Nicobe about to jump on the scene and break out. It's time for them Georgia boys to eat. They gotta prove. They gotta prove they draft. They got. They, 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 they gotta prove themselves now at this level. And I feel like Nicobe Dean. The only issue with Nicobe Dean was that Nicobe Dean was behind people. You know what I'm saying? The only issue with N'Kobe Dean was that it was people in front of N'Kobe Dean. N'Kobe Dean didn't get the playing time that he deserved. You see what I'm saying? N'Kobe Dean, N'Kobe Dean didn't, didn't get on the field as much. And when he was on the field, when he was on the field, you saw exactly what he was capable of doing. So TJ Edwards or throw N'Kobe Dean in the fire and seeing what you get out of the Buckets Award winner on a rookie deal. Give me N'Kobe Dean in that situation. Give me the Kobe Dean in that situation. Hargrave gone. <coughs> you any minute, any minute we should hear CJ Gardner Johnson got extended. Any minute, rude girl. Don't 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 be alarmed. Don't be alarmed, rude girl. What's going on right now is just the process. Do not be alarmed. Do not be upset. Do not let this news have you feeling like the sky is falling because the Kobe Dean will replace TJ Edwards. And probably do a better job than T.J. Edwards. Jordan Davis, it's his time. 
Milton Williams, it's Milton time. They will do what they're supposed to do. I saw flashes of greatness from them guys, but they were both behind Linval Joseph and Dominic Sue. You know what I mean? Hardgrave. They were at Fletcher Cox. They were behind a lot. Should we kick the tires on Calais Campbell? I'm not opposed to it. <coughs> I'm not opposed to it. My app is going crazy right now. Yeah, the app going crazy right now. The app is definitely going crazy right now. But, for, but so far, right now, TJ Edwards signed with the Bears. Jason Kelsey is saying he's coming back. Javon Hargrave went to the 49ers. You know what I mean? I'm not, I, I, knew Jahar, I, I knew Hargrave was gone. It's just where he went to. That's a little, you know what I mean? I, don't, I, I ain't feeling that aspect of it. It's where he went to for me. You know what I mean? I'm not, that's the aspect of it that I'm not feeling. The 49ers, we got real, we got issues with them. We got issues with the 40 winers. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The 40, the, the, the 40 winers, they want they want a problem. Do you think we'll get Gonzalez or Porter Jr.? I don't know. Key, what's going on, Key? Thank you for the uh super chat, bro. LB been down to the Super Bowl. We're ready for this season. You already know. <coughs> you already know. We can't be down about the Super Bowl forever. Desert Eagle, what up? You know what they say? Niners can beat uh Niners can't beat us, so they take our guys. Salute the Hargrave. Yeah, salute the Hargrave getting his back. DH Eagle, what's up? He said, LB, what's up? I finally caught a lunchtime with the bullies. You already know. Hargrave is an op now. That's how you gotta look at it. O OBJ Eagles, please. I don't, I don't want OBJ. I don't want OBJ, man. If we're gonna get a slot wide receiver, I want somebody low key that's gonna keep their head down and do their job. And do their job. <coughs> We already got, we already got over here. I mean, damn, I left my water in the uh, office. <coughs> we already got, we already got defensive tackles. You know what I'm saying? We already got a GM that's going to make sure that we get what's supposed to be coming to us. So it's not so much about what we just lost. It's about what was already in place to replace those things. That's what it's about. <coughs> I'm coughing like that. I ain't got no juice ahead. Nothing. It's about, it's about what was in place to replace those things. Nicole Dean was already in place. Milton Williams and the gang was already in place. Things were already in place. We don't need to run to the draft to replace guys. It was already in place. 84 million and a 40 million dollar guarantee, not a hard decision. I agree. That's easy money for a defensive tackle. You got to take that if you are grave. It don't matter who offering it. And I feel like the 49ers, what they did was gave him an offer he couldn't refuse as a little aha to you. <coughs> Elijah Moore ain't going nowhere if Aaron Rodgers stay there. If Aaron Rodgers stay in green, if Aaron Rodgers um, go to the Jets, Elijah Moore is not going anywhere. <coughs> Jimmy G to Oakland already? That happened? Who do you like better, Gonzalez or Weatherspoon at 10th? I'm I'm kind of torn with that. I'm kind of torn with that one because Weatherspoon a dog. The interceptions volume ain't crazy, but the pass breakups, man, and the physicality, man, that boy be hitting too, bro. He be hitting it. He, he remind me of Bradbury a little bit. Just not as long and as athletic, but kind of. Michael Felder, thank you for the super chat. Jimmy G to the Raiders. They still going to be mid. They going to be mid. They going to be mid. They're going to be mad. Jimmy G going to throw a lot of picks next year. Mark my words. Who do I like better, Gonzalez? I think I answered that one. You know what I mean? So it's, it's not so much about the news that we just heard, ladies and gentlemen. It's more about the foresight, you know what I'm saying, of Howie Roseman. All those guys was on one-year deals for a reason. Because Nicole B. Dean, the Buckets Award winner, is just sitting and waiting his turn. You drafted a defensive tackle with the number one pick last year. Barely got any playing time because you got Hargrave. You got Fletch. You had a bunch of guys that you brought back on one-year deals. Now it's time for the guys that you drafted to step up. It's time. Your offense don't need nothing. What you got to do now for sure is bring back Gardner Johnson. You got to bring back Gardner Johnson. I talked about Hargrave and Gardner Johnson being the most important pieces on the defensive side of the ball that you got to bring back. You know what I mean? Now that's shifted to Bradbury and Gardner Johnson. Hopefully, you can bring back Bradbury and Gardner Johnson. Hopefully. Resign Fletch. If you can afford it, yeah, bring Fletch back. 
Bring Fletch back if you can afford it. Bring it back. I'm not mad at that. Do you like Juju as an eagle? Nah, I mean, nah. Theory, Eagles requested to allow the number zero so they can get Gonzalez. I mean, I don't know if that's a theory. Since when do rookies get to choose their number? We're not requesting that for a rookie who never even put the green on. I like I like the idea of Bobby Wagner. Fletch went that bread, he's gone. Probably. But Fletch, Fletch was on a $100 million deal before with us. Fletch been getting that back. What type of bag Fletch think he gonna get? He not gonna get Hargrave money. We not gonna get Hargrave, he not gonna get Hargrave money. Fletch might get $13 million a year. <clears throat> Fletch ain't getting Hargrave money. You know what I'm saying? I, I, listen, Nicobe Dean is probably one of the smartest players out of his rookie class. His time is now. Who going to be our third wide receiver? We're going to see. You're probably drafting. Hargrave playing half the snaps on the 49ers for half the snaps is crazy. Yeah. A power back uh, would be the best fit for running back in Smitty. Uh, is Smitty going to have uh best season next year? <clears throat> I mean, I'm not mad if you go get your power back. You know what I mean? I'm not mad if you get your power back because Miles Sanders is gone. I don't think the Eagles need a power back. I think the Eagles need like an Austin Eckler type of guy. Now, he's going to be very expensive, so I don't think you're going to be able to get Austin Eckler. You know what I mean? He just requested a trade or something like that, but we don't need a power back in Philadelphia right now. We don't need a power back in Philadelphia. Right now, the Philadelphia Eagles need a running back because everybody can run behind his line. You need a running back that can be a threat in the passing game. That's what this offense was missing. If you look at it, a lot of the times, Jalen Hurts bailed the offense out because we don't have any hot routes. Once you have a running back that can come out of the backfield and catch, that's an automatic hot route, an automatic swing pass, an automatic pass to the flats. We don't have that. We didn't even put Miles Sanders in them situations. I don't know if, I don't know if it was because his hands were just that bad, but we didn't even put him in them situations, man. We didn't even do wide receivers. We didn't even do running back screens. We do tight end screens. Never putting all three starting receivers on a trading block. I like I, I like I like Hamlin. <coughs> what is it? KJ Hamler? I like Hamler out the slot. Forty nine ers still don't have a QB. They don't. Probably a ten. Yeah. We just got to see how that pan out. Who you think we should grab in the draft, LB? I think you. It, it, it depends on who you lose at this point. It depends on who you lose at this point. I mean, Slay up there, Bradbury up there. I think you got to get a cornerback regardless. You got to get a cornerback regardless. So I, I think you should go cornerback in this year's draft. I would love to pick up Bobby Wagner and trade a third uh, for Jerry Judy. 49ers still can't beat us. No, they can't beat us. They don't have a quarterback. <clears throat> they don't have a quarterback. You know what I mean? I like Jerry Judy. He's, he's a solid route running technician. If Jordan Davis don't eat this year, he a bust. You can't say that. You can't say that if Jordan Davis don't eat this year, he a bust. You can't say that. You can't say that. And, 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 what, and what do you mean eating? Do we got to do what Hargrave did? Because de 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 defensive tackles don't be having 11 sack seasons. Defensive tackles are, are just problems in the middle at moving the pile. I think Jordan Davis got to get stronger. I think he got to get more physical. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, I don't know, man. He, he got to produce. That's all I'm going to say. Because right now it's looking like Milton Williams is ahead of him in the depth chart. The only reason why he's going to get more playing time than Milton Williams is because of where he was drafted at. But I think Milton Williams right now is better than um, is better than Jordan Davis. <laughs> Look at this guy. Go Big Blue. You guys losing everybody. Y'all just signed Daniel Jones to $40 million a year. He is buns. He is buns. Y'all just extended Daniel Jones for $40 million a year. He is Bonds. Bonsai. <laughs> Come on, man. Go lay down. Sheesh, I don't want Eckler. I'll take Eckler in a heartbeat. Jimmy G, three years, uh, 67 mil. They may even extend it, Jimmy G. Debo said Bradbury trash. That's because that's Debo was hating. 
Everybody know Bradbury ain't trash. Bradbury was an all pro this year. Was Debo? I like Jalen. Uh, Jalen as in Hyatt. Would love that. Would love that in a slot. We'd average forty. Yeah, yeah. T.J. Uh, Edwards was horrible in pass coverage. Yeah, he wasn't that good in pass coverage. <clears throat> Davis has been looking like a bust. He played one year in a rotational role. Relax. <coughs> Relax. One year in a rotational role. We're gonna have to trade that thirty-first pick and get another one. I, no, I'm using I'm using that tenth and that thirty-first. I'm using both them picks. I'm using both them picks. You got to. You you got to use both these picks in this draft. You got to replenish. You got to get a cornerback, and you probably got to get the best player available. A cornerback and the best player available. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you're just tapping in 505 people in the building, the Philadelphia Eagles lose TJ Edwards to the Bears. Three-year deal, $19 million, 12, 12 guaranteed. And the 49ers lose uh, Jordan Davis. I'm sorry, the Eagles lose um, Javon Hargrave and free agency to the 49ers. Um, $20 million a year, four years, $80 million, $40 million guaranteed. Got his number. One on one ain't nobody blocking Davis. I mean, that was in college, but I seen him get stood up. That that in the Super Bowl where Patrick Mahomes had that long run, you know what I mean? That 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 really hurt the game for us. Jordan Davis got no movement at all. He didn't even get off the line. He just got stonewalled, and it created a it created a lane for uh, for Patrick Mahomes. Jordan Davis got to be better, bro. We ain't gonna lie about that. He got to be better. I think he's very capable of doing it. I think he's very capable of getting better. I think he will get better. Davis looked good for a non-starter. Y'all sleep? Yeah, he definitely looked good for a non-starter. He definitely looked good for a non-starter. But you got to think about this. And Dominic and Sue got a Hall of Fame resume. Linval Joseph is a, a, a Pro Bowl defensive tackle. You know what I'm saying? Um, Hargrave had an all-pro season. Fletcher Cox... One of the best D tackles in the league for multiple years in his career. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Jordan Davis was behind those guys. And Milton Williams was young and hungry and producing. Jordan Davis was a rookie behind that, bro. So let's be real. Let's be real. You can't call him a bus because he wasn't drafted to have an immediate impact. He wasn't drafted to be a starter from the get-go. So why take him in the first thing? Because it's called foresight. It's called it's called knowing what's coming down the pipe. Javon Hargrave was on the last year of his deal, and Fletcher Cox was on a one-year deal. Why would you not take a defensive tackle in the first round? That's like asking me, why would the Eagles draft Cam Jurgens? Well, as Kelsey's constantly on a one-year deal and he's up in the air with retirement. You gotta understand. You gotta understand, you don't go looking for a new house when you're homeless. You go doing you start doing that when you when you realize you want to move or when your lease is up. Or, or whatever the, or when you want to sell your house. You gotta understand. You gotta understand. Nobody goes looking for a new car after the car breaks down. The car tell you signs if that gear shift ain't working right. The car tell you signs. Oh, that transmission is sounding funny. Let me get rid of this joint. You know what I'm saying? You got to like, come on, you, you can't wait till it's too late. You don't want to be in that position. I'm glad for Hargrave LB, but he is too old for that contract. I mean, he producing though. Y'all got to stop equating productivity to bread. He, he producing. It don't matter how old you are if you producing. Is Aaron Rodgers too old for his contract? Like no one wanted Land Landon, but that but that big boy is a bodyguard. Landon Dickerson is a beast. Landon Dickerson is top five at the position. Top five at the position. You know what I mean? But you know, free agency gonna be wild. You know what I mean? Um, free agency is definitely gonna be wild. This is just the beginning of it. I, I'm expecting some CJ Gardner Johnson news. Listen, if, if Gardner Johnson wasn't gonna return to the Eagles, you know what I'm saying? It would have been breaking, he would he would have been the first person gone. The first person gone. And I'm also hearing that Bradbury is giving the, uh, giving the Eagles a chance to match. You know what I mean? But the Eagles got to understand what's the priority right now. Like, you can't bring everybody back and sign Jalen Hurts. It just don't look like you could do it. 
What's the priority? If Gardner Johnson giving you the chance to match and Bradbury giving you the chance to match and you still got to sign Jalen, what's your priority? If it come down be between them two, what's the priority? <clears throat> That's something you got to talk about. And also Slay, you still, could, you still can extend Slay. You still can extend Slay. Let the corners go go bring in Christian Gonzalez. Let the corners go and bring in Christian Gonzalez. Listen, bro. Chris, listen. I ain't like that, man. Y'all got to stop doing that. Y'all got to stop doing that. I'm telling you, man. Let the corners go bring in Christian Gonzalez. Christian Gonzalez is an intern right now, man. Christian Gonzalez is a, at the intern level. Y'all ain't never see if Christian Gonzalez is going to be able to do what he did in college in the pros. Keep your cornerbacks and bring, still bring in Christian Gonzalez so he can learn from Slay, so he can learn from Bradbury. So he can learn. Put him at a limited role in his rookie year. Bring him in slow. Bring him in slow. What just happened with Nicole B. Dean and Jordan Davis? They were able to learn. They went all the way to the Super Bowl in their rookie year, got a bunch of experience, playoff experience. Nicole Dean was excellent on special teams. Nicole Dean got it the hard way. The hard way. Nicole Dean wasn't just wasn't just thrusted into a starting role. He got it the hard way. LB, once we can sign CJ Gardner Johnson and Bradbury, uh, I'm good. Give Jalen a seven year contract and spread the money. I'm giving Jalen a 10 year bag. I'm giving Hurts a 10 year bag. You got to do that now. Once you find your guy, you got to give him a 10 year bag and you got to spread the money out so you can still put pieces around it. You got to give him a 10 year bag. You got to give him a 10 year bag. <clears throat> Wagner, Dane, Reddick would be crazy. Gonzalez is the best uh, the best player at the 10th pick. I agree. I think you're going to have more options than Gonzalez too, though, because, you know what I mean, with the Panthers moving up to get a quarterback, you know what I mean? And you know, and you know the Bears, who knows? Because the Bears right in front of you. The Bears could do anything. A rookie got to get put in the fire now. Yeah, you got to get put in the fire now. You know why? Because he's not a rookie. He's not a rookie. Too many bad teams in the National Football League like to throw rookies out there, you know what I mean, who might not be ready. Then they get exposed and beat up on. Slay is getting old. Is he really worth that money, LB? What money? The money we signed him for? That's the money we both agreed on. Now what you could do is restructure and extend to, to drag it out longer. That's the money we both agreed on. Slay still productive. Now if Slay asking for a raise, and that's a different situation. Hurts get hurt too much for 10 years. Come on, another lie, bro. Another lie. Another lie. Hurts don't get hurt too much. Where, where, where are you making these things up at, bro? That's not true. That is not true. Jay Hurts missed two games last year. Two games last year. He had an ankle. He had an ankle injury the first year. He don't get hurt too much, man. Come on, we're not going. We're not going to start doing that, bro. We're not going to start making stuff up. He get hurt too much for ten years. Patrick Mahomes missed games too. He on a ten year contract. Jalen won a short deal so he can get 70 M's a year after a four-year contract. The cap going to be crazy. How you know what Jalen won? How you know what Jalen won? Nobody knows what Jalen won. It's all about what could, be, what could be presented to him. All I'm going to say is I thank God how he's running the show. That's a, great, that's a great observation. A great observation. A great observation, man. Howie Roseman running the show. We're in good hands. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. What's up, LB? What I miss, bro? You ain't really miss nothing, man. Um, TJ Edwards went to the Bears. Hargrave went to the 49ers. Um, that's about it, man. We, we, we in aggressive talks with Gardner Johnson. From what I understand, from what text messages were sent to me, we're in aggressive talks with Gardner Johnson. Bradbury's going to get a team the opportunity to, um, to match whatever offers he get on the market. But what got to happen is Gardner Johnson got to come back. I'm cool with Nicole B. Dean. I can't wait to see Nicole B. Dean as a starter. Kelsey also coming back too. We're not going to forget about that. Kelsey also coming back. I think that Jurgen's going to move to guard. 
Um, and then probably after Kelsey retires, then Jurgens gonna move to the center because I think for sure this Kelsey last year. For sure this Kelsey last year. I think you gotta draft a guard regardless. Who else we got at linebacker besides Dean? Um, Kavion, uh, not Kavion, sorry, Kavion, uh, Davion Taylor is still on the roster. Um, Kaiser White might be gone too. Um, that's tough, man. I, I think you need, I think you need to tackle. I think you need to attack linebacker in free agency. It's the linebacker room is deep or the linebacker group. The linebacker group is deep, man. How are we going to make, uh. LB Gibbs is the most explosive running back I've seen in 20 years since Jamal Charles. We got to roll the dice. I mean, early? <clears throat> I know it's hard to say right now, but what you think our, predict, our, our record going to be uh, this year, LB? We're going to win a division. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm a little worried. The, uh, the one worth keeping in the back is Slay. And CJ Bradbury got exposed without help, though. He's um, no. Nah, if you could keep Slay Bradbury and CJ, you better do that. If you could keep all three of them dudes, you better do that. I think Jimmy G was underpaid. I mean, Jimmy G, he he got health issues. Jimmy G always on the sideline for something. So I don't think he over. I don't think he was underpaid. You know what I mean? But but in terms of talking about success and playoff wins and, and, and having playoff runs, Jimmy G has done that a few times, though. You got guys like Dak Prescott who never had a playoff run. His money handicapping the roster. No, we got to resign Kaiser. He had a solid year. I don't know, man. I don't know. What would I do in the first round, cornerback? I would definitely go cornerback in the first round. That's a fact. I'm going cornerback. Flipping the bird, 85. Thank you for the super chat. Slave restructuring. CJ Gardner Johnson and Bradbury coming back. Calling. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Yeah, if y'all can keep all three, uh, they complement each other. They complement each other very well. And you know, the thing with CJ Gardner Johnson is that he can play slot and safety. You need a safety. You need a safety. Maddox be banged up a lot. Sometimes you're going to need a slot and a safety. And Gardner Johnson and Blankenship, they got good chemistry. So you know what I mean? Like, like you, you got to keep Gardner Johnson, man. He plays two positions. Two positions. We're going back, LB. We're bringing our main pieces back. I feel like we're bringing the main pieces back for a reason because we got unfinished business. Unfinished business, man. Shout out to y'all 602 people in the chat, man. And listen, man, I'm going to put the link to the description in this video, man. Make sure you tap in. Get your Hurt Season merch, hats, beanies, hoodies, all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? The 22 bird shirt just dropped. Everybody copping that one as well, man. Probably, probably, probably I want to say that's the mat. That's our masterpiece. The 22 bird shirt, man. The best graphic tee on the market, man. CJ Gardner Johnson is the new Malcolm Jenkins facts. I think he the best safety since B Dog. I think he the best safety since B Dog. CJ Gardner Johnson. I think it will be criminal. Criminal. You know what I mean? Criminal to not bring Gardner Johnson back. Mariota, the backup hurts. It don't matter who backing up hurts. I don't ever want to see him on the field. Don't sleep on blank and shit. I ain't sleeping on blank and shit. I would love to see foes back, though. Them Kelly Greens going to be fired and shit. Yeah, I can't wait for the Kelly Greens. It's definitely going down. CJ made Bradbury an all-pro. Uh, I don't know. I think the defensive line had a lot to say about a lot of guys having success in the secondary. CJ made plays, man. CJ was making diving interceptions. CJ was jumping routes. CJ is a playmaker. Ain't nobody make CJ though. That's the difference, man. That's the difference. When Pop, when pa pa Pakiro, whatever his name was, was running around in the Super Bowl, CJ came downhill and put that work on him. Put that work on him. He a playmaker, a difference maker. That hit on Pacero LB, that's the hit for me. That was it for me. A playmaker, a difference maker. Somebody that's going to get stuff done and not make excuses. Somebody who want to win. You know what I mean? Somebody that want to win. Iron Fitness, I need my dog tag still and some merchandise. DM me, Iron Fitness. You still ain't getting no dog tag? I, I just found one of these the other day. Y'all remember these? The LB dog tag. I was saying season before was a hurt season. This was on the dog tags like three years ago. 
Just say, see, just say season on it. You know what I mean? The LB joints. Open up your Corona while the birds win it. What do we do at running back LB? Draft. That's the best thing to do. Nobody ain't getting no running back out free agency. Austin Eckler, that might make sense. That makes sense, man. Austin Eckler definitely makes sense, man. But yo, man, shout out to y'all for sure, man. Uh, thank y'all for tapping in all 604, y'all. You know what I mean? We're going to cut this one short a little bit because I'm going to do an official video because I got a feeling that more breaking news is going to come. But I had to get with Bully Nation real quick. Yo, make sure y'all subscribe. Run the subs up this summer. Run the subs up this summer, man. I got crazy stuff going on. We need to spread the word about what's going on over at the channel. Run the subs up this summer, man. All Eagles talk. Dope collabs with some of your fans. We doing it that way. I do like Kareem Hunt, Desert Eagle. I do like Kareem Hunt. I definitely like Kareem Hunt, yo. So I'm not ruling Kareem Hunt at all. So yeah, we're going to talk about it, man. Whatever's going to come out of this. Man, shout out to y'all. Y'all know the vibes. Out.